Hello guys, B here and today we're going to be making a birthday card and for this card we're going to use the What's the Scoop Clear Stamp Set We're also going to be using the Candyland 6x6 paper pack Also the double stitch rectangles die the telephone coil die and also we're going to be using the balloon numbers die let's go ahead and get started so for my car this is the paper that i'm going to be using and i want to use the double stitch rectangles die for the sides of my car we're going to use not the first not the second but the third biggest and what we're gonna do instead of taking it out from the middle I want the side windows to be taken out so we can put them towards the back and the front part of the car raised up kind of like it has different levels the store so what we're gonna do is that we're gonna align the side of our die with the side of the the window right there in both sides that way we know that it's gonna be kind of like the same in both sides so I'm gonna go ahead and do that speed up this part I use I'm using my die cutting machine I have a Gemini so you'll see me here that I have to tape a little my um, die so it doesn't move and it cuts exactly where I need it to cut I am going to repeat the same process with the left side. Okay, so here's my car base and don't worry about measurements or anything, everything is down in the description box below. So for my car, I want to make sure that I align both sides that I just cut out well. So what I'm gonna do is position my middle part as so, and then I'm just gonna add wet glue to the sides that I cut out and make sure that they go in the right spot with that middle part right there exactly where I want it. So then I can add some foam tape to my middle part so it's raised up. Now that the two windows are glue, I can remove this part and add my foam tape to this middle part and correctly place it in the middle. And as I'm doing this part, it occurred to me that you could perfectly add some acetate here. If you leave a little bit of the side of that window there, if you add acetate, it would look really, really cool, like an actual window from, from a shop. And you could even make this little part a shaker. You guys know I love shaker cards. If you have seen my videos and you follow me, uh, you know that I adore shakers. So I think it would look really neat if you do that too. Just another idea. Now I can go ahead and glue down my middle part. Now with the telephone coil die, I cut two times this with um, glitter cardstock, a silver glitter cardstock. And I'm just gonna add some glue to it and I'm gonna add it kind of like inside that window. Thank you. 
now it's time to color our images. I think that I want to use the four unicorns because they are small enough that they will fit in this car or hopefully they will. <laughs> if not, I will make them fit in the car. <laughs> so <laughs> what I'm gonna do is that with you, I am going to color just one of the unicorns because if not, the video is gonna be way too long. But just know that in the description box below, it's every single color that I use. I'm using my Copic markers and we're gonna just uh, color these together. Make sure that you look on the right side, the upper right side of the screen because there it will have also the Copic marker that I'm using at the moment. And this is how my images turned out. I am totally in love with them. I tried to match their colors with the candy from the paper. So for example, that one was green, blue, and purple. So I did that unicorn, that color, and I tried to match the others as well. Now I'm just gonna add some little details to it with my Copic markers and with my Sharpie Y pen. Usually for this part, when I add dots to my coloring, 
I usually choose a darker shade than the color that I used so if it's like a light brown I will choose a really dark brown a really dark purple depending on the shade that I use I think adding these dots it just creates a little bit of texture for my characters and I also think it's like my signature move now <laughs> when I color I adore adding these little dots not sure why but I love doing it so here we go <laughs> Now I'm going to use my Y Sharpie paint pen to add little dots to other areas of my images. I would suggest just have fun with this part. There's no really a wrong way to add your dots. I usually do either a little, um, a bunch of them together or I do three of them uh, together as well. Now that my images are colored and ready to go, I have die cut with the, num the balloon number die, the number one and the number six, because I am gifting this card to my daughter. She's turning 16 soon. So uh, all I'm doing is um, overlapping the numbers together so because because I was using the um, glitter cardstock if I only use the glitter cardstock with the background you're not gonna see it well so I wanted to add a little bit extra something underneath my glitter cardstock so you could actually see it well and to put it together I'm just using wet glue Now that all pieces and components of this card are ready to go, we're just gonna glue everything together. For some of these, I'm using my wet glue and I am also using foam tape. And I chose the sentiment, you make life sweet. And for this, I'm also using foam tape. This little guy, I wanted to position him like he's sitting on the table. For this unicorn, I am going to have to cut him in half, sadly, after I color him, but I thought he would look really neat inside the window. For my last unicorn, I added really thick foam tape and for these to create different levels so he would look kind of like the forefront of the card and this is how my card turned out i absolutely love everything about it and that i was able to fit them all on my car i love that he's sitting on that table and thank you guys so much for watching make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the this in the comments below what stamp do you want me to work with next i would love to know i will see you later